What's up, y'all? Top of the morning, like always. Welcome to my space. You already know this your boy, Young Prodigy, Cali Pitts. I'm tapping in um, with another bar that's social talk. Man, um, yeah, I've been thinking about some shit last night, and I was just tripping how this game has changed, and some of the rules in the game have changed without warning. You know? And, um, like snitching, for example. Bro, I know you ain't pissing on my car. Bro. Yo. I know you ain't pissing on my car. Huh? What's up with you, fam? That's what I'm saying, nigga. I know you ain't pissing on my car, nigga. No, I'm trying to use the damn better I see this nigga right here. Oh, all right, all right, nigga. My bad, homie. For sure. All right. But yeah, man, I want to... Sorry about the interruption. But yeah, man, I want to get back to the snitching shit. And like I said, some of the rules have changed without no warning. You know what I'm saying? Um, and niggas been seeming to ride with that shit. Like, long as they get a little money, niggas is riding with the way the rules is changing. And um, even these civilians. Like, it's getting to the point to where civilians are getting out of line with the snitching. And what I mean by that is that, to me, it's snitching when you see some shit going down and you pull out your camera and start recording it to put it on Facebook or any other social media to explain it step by step. Nigga, that's snitching because you're still leaving a paper trail for the police to find. You get into it with a nigga. Uh, you get online talking about what a nigga did to you and what you gonna do and all that shit. All you doing is leaving a transcript. You snitching, bro. You know what I'm saying? All that shit is snitching. All that getting on the internet, discussing um, gangster situations and and, 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 and and detailing the outcomes and trying to explain what's wrong and what's right about shit. That shit is snitching, bro. You feel me? You We, we gotta stop fucking up the culture and then asking questions why the culture fucked up you know what i'm saying and we gotta stop with the bullshit like you know what i'm saying i understand civilians don't apply to the rules of the hood but when they start involving themselves in shit of the hood gang situations drive-bys whispers on murders or whatever the fuck happened you know what i'm saying it's like then you Asking the people who dwell in that lifestyle to pay attention to you. You are asking for the rules of that lifestyle to apply to you. You know what I'm saying? We watching all these rappers nowadays snitch on themselves. Make videos when they doing gangster shit. Make videos about putting hits on niggas heads. Make videos uh, uh, as they shoot at motherfuckers. To the point to the, where the females... Is doing the same stupid shit to where regular society people start thinking it's cool for them to get a like and view to start posting and talking about shit that really involves snitching. And then I trip off somehow some niggas be telling stories of the past. My nigga, these are open cases. Some of these cases are, are cold cases that still can be, you know, fucked with. And if niggas start giving information on shit police couldn't never find, the niggas gonna start going to jail. They gonna start picking niggas up on cold cases and shit. So, motherfuckers really need to start understanding what they doing when everybody up on, everybody on social media seem to be real. I'm real. Every bitch real. Every nigga real. But all this old weird old goofy shit be going on. This, 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 uh, I wasn't there snitching that shit. But you know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel. And I'm sure it's a lot of other real niggas that hearing this that might hear this and be like, man, that's some real shit. We got to start pressing these Internet snitching motherfuckers or we got to start exposing the the um, the environment that does this shit. We got to start letting them know that shit ain't cool. That that don't give you real nigga. Uh, um. 
passes. You know what I'm saying? That shit really give you fuckboy passes. You know what I'm saying? Because real niggas don't like to talk about other men business, especially other men they don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's not our business. You know what I'm saying? In LA, it's like shit. When a nigga on the east side and you doing you on the west side, you running some west side bankers, you be pretty much be like, my nigga, I'm from the east side, my nigga. I ain't got nothing to do with what y'all got going on over here. And vice versa. Nigga from South Central and Compton. I remember I was living in Compton and shit. Niggas always want to bang. Yeah, 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 yeah. All uh, LA niggas. In it. Look, check this out, my nigga. I'm from LA. You right. I ain't got nothing to do with a Compton drama. You know what I mean? Whether it's blood or crip. You know what I'm saying? But my nigga, if you got a problem with LA and I'm the representation of LA in your city, nigga, get at me. You get at me. You represent Compton. I represent LA. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and we can handle that as a personal man to man. I don't like you. I don't like you type of shit. But we don't cross collateralize the bullshit in our cities with other cities and shit like that. So I feel like these regular motherfuckers on social media that, that feel like they don't got to stand to the code. And if somebody bust them over their shit because they done posted some snitching shit, they going to the police and they going to snitch again. Nah, they need to understand. Stay off the motherfucking grass. You you feel me? Stay off the fucking grass. Bottom line, you know what I'm saying? But that's your boy, Cali Pitts. That's my social talk for the morning. Y'all tap in. Let me know what y'all feel. Like always, it's a grind. You did.